Hello, I'm Matthew Smythe, Technical Director at Aquinviro, and I'm here to talk about troubleshooting wastewater treatment works. We're called into effluent treatment plants when the consent to discharge is threatened or failures have been recorded. The focus on arrival is often on the higher than desired concentrations for pollutants leaving the plant. These could be BOD, biochemical oxygen demand, COD, chemical oxygen demand, ammonia, total nitrogen, and more recently as they've been introduced, total phosphorus consent. The key to understanding the source or cause of these high concentrations is, however, to understand the load. And that's the mass of pollutants received and removed at each stage of treatment. It's imperative to map loads, which are the sum of flow multiplied by concentration through the works, and also any returns that may be present. By way of example, one litre of sewage containing 500 milligrams per litre BOD has a mass or load of 500 milligrams, equivalent to 0.5 grams of BOD. And that site, receiving 1,000 metre cubed per day at 500 milligrams per litre, handles 500 kilograms of BOD per day. That is the load. Sometimes load data is available and sometimes it's not. For the latter, we're able to provide, install, operate and decommission flow monitors, automatic sampling equipment and provide analysis to gather the information that's needed. We then compare the measured loads with the design for the plant. If the design information is absent, we're experienced in plant design and can develop realistic values. The result is a gap, which helps identify plant bottlenecks and develop corrective operational actions as needed and potentially capital investment. We undertake this service on domestic and industrial treatment plants. At one food and beverage site that incorporated filter bed technology in series, it struggled to consistently achieve discharge levels for ammonia and BOD. Pollutant loads were measured and recirculation rates optimised to improve filter bed wetting. Residence time testing and microscopic analysis also identified that fungal growth on and within the filter beds was causing short circuiting. Revised approaches to balancing and pH control, optimization of the nutrient dosing and cleaning of media within the beds all led to improved performance. In accordance with the site's continued plan for improvement, we then assisted the site in the longer term by developing tendering documents, commissioning, and longer term support for a new activated sludge plant. The data and learning experiences gathered within the troubleshooting phase were key to developing realistic values for the new wastewater plant and the specification. If your site's not performing as you would like, please get in touch with Aquinviro to find out more.